Hi, Matthew with F-Class Convenient Channel, and I'm here at the Mission Rod and Gun Club. First time since uh, a long time that I've been able to shoot. And first off, I have to apologize guys, I haven't updated the channel lately, but the most important thing is there hasn't been any kind of shooting since the COVID uh, situation has started. And most of the events and most of our projects around here in, in, in around the range uh, and events have been cancelled. So, you know, I've been sitting at home doing work and that's pretty much all I can do at this point. But finally, uh, I am going to a match uh, on August 1st and 2nd up to the Thompson uh, Rifle Club up there. And I, I just wanted to update you guys on the channel. There are some videos coming uh, regarding some uh, F-Class tips in terms of how to manage uh, your shooting and adjust for for flyers. So one of the things I, I like to do is uh, thank you guys for uh, over, over 1,000 subscribers. It's an amazing thing that uh, uh, a lot of you guys have subscribed and thank you for looking in the channel. Hopefully the content uh, that I provide you is interesting and informative and, and will get you on paper and train you up to be a better F-Class shooter. And that's really the goal. I want to grow the sport and I want to uh, inform new beginner F-Class shooters in terms of really uh, some of the, the pros and cons uh, about F-Class and, and some of the, the, the quirks, I guess, uh, in reloading and, and in terms of what your, your equipment is and, and how to get into the sport. So, you know, one of the things I want to do with you is provide you a little bit of a fun thing is go through a, a bag dump with you guys in terms of what my F-Class gear is and uh, what, what I take to the range. Okay, so first off, one of the, one of the things I, I bring with me is always ear, ear protection and eye protection, but I wear glasses so it's not really that big of an issue. Uh, I always bring a backpack. I always bring with me my Rain Storm Rider that uh, carries my hot charts. I bring my spotting scope, and it's a Konas, as you guys know, uh, with with a Koa uh, LER25. I always bring my lab radar. You get all the info on my 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 system and uh, a rear bag. Uh, and a lot of times I would bring along uh, a cloth or something. Uh, a backup pa battery pack. Uh, it, I always uh, bring up a bring a, a battery pack. Sorry guys, I'm doing this with one hand, so you have to excuse the the camera movement battery pack for the lab radar and into my case uh, I have a rear platform that I, I built to hold my rear, rear, rear bag uh, tripods for the lab radar my ammo uh, bolt flags uh, because it's a, a requirement extra staples there my ammo and that pretty much is it for my ammo case. And what I else also bring is uh, some targets. I shoot. Targets there. Today's target for my hunting rifle. Shooting 165 Sierras in a 308. And uh, just a sight in for my rifle, my match that's coming up in two weeks. We're going to be shooting 700 meters up in uh, the Thompson uh, Thompson Fish and Game Club up there, and it's a 700 meter range, and it's, and it's going to be on shot marker. On my second case, I have this is my top panel, just a, a Allen wrench set there. I always bring a fat wrench with me, some grease for the bolt. And what I have here is a bag of extra parts, and what I what I usually carry for for um, for both my rifles. 
So I would have an extra spring, and this I, this one I believe is for the Savage. And then I have one for, I have a, a full replacement bolt uh, for the Panda Action in here that I, just in case if the bolt, the spring or firing pin breaks, I have the entire fire firing pin assembly for my F-Class Panda Action. So that's that's a direct drop-in, so all I have to do is I have tools that I would pull the, pull the bolt and the firing pin out from. Uh, some wet and dry uh, Scotch-Brite fasteners. I carry also, I carry all the necessary tools to make adjustment to the stock or tighten any bolt that may have come loose. So I have a set for my, my Savage Stevens, some extra uh, high slip molybdenum grease there, eye protection in case I have guests or, or visitors usually, Imperial Allen socket wrench, a bipod adapter for my Stevens, uh, and this is the Anschutz rail adapter so you can use a sling st uh, stud with the Harris bipod there, just in case something happens and I have to revert back to an old system. More Allen wrenches for the Panda Action, a bolt removal tool, and I use the Sinclair firing pin re uh, removal tool. Also, I bring a leveling kit, Arasaka uh, leveling, leveling kit, just in case the scope runs amok and I need to replace it or some, something comes loose, I can always level the scope really quickly uh, using this uh, system and I find it to be quite reliable. It does the, a great job uh, getting me on paper. Pretty true so I, I'm quite happy with the way way this is uh, uh, set up. What else I carry to range? I carry a shooting mat and my bipod and I recently picked up a new bipod. Uh, this is the carbon fiber tier 1 bipod. It's a very wide bipod. It's a little heavier actually than my Dolphin Tracker 1 bipod that I've been using. But this one is a little bit more stable and tracks a little bit better and that's what I've been really trying to, uh, I've been struggling with is the tracking of my rifle. So with the wider stance it does help with the cant a little bit. Uh, this one locks up pretty good. It uh, doesn't cant as much but still a little bit of recoil steer that happens with this bipod. But I think after I make some adjustments to my shooting position or just in terms of the way I hold my rifle, uh, I think uh, this bipod will track quite well. But it's a noticeable improvement already because of the wider stance and, and the ski feet, the way they, they are configured, uh, it cuts into the carpet a little bit more. And I need to build a new shooting platform because my old platform is a little bit uh, shy in terms of the width. Any, anyways, that's kind of a gear dump. Uh, of all the things that I usually bring to range other than my rifles. I want to thank you guys for subscribing and watching. There are more videos coming. It just takes a little bit of time due to this whole COVID thing. We really haven't been, been doing much shooting or reloading lately. So thank you once again for subscribing and remember to keep an eye on the flags and tight groups.